Does concrete form oil impact the properties of concrete? This video is gonna answer that. For three different types of form oil, it's made by my students. Oh my gosh, you gotta check it out. Hey, concrete super fans. My name's Nate Morris. I'm Lauren Breedlove. I'm Melissa Hall. And I'm Rachel Schwartz. Welcome back to part two of our two part series on form oil. The vibration test shows how the oil moves like it would during consolidation. Here is the vibration test with no form oil to demonstrate how it works on the control. Here is the vibration test with magic coat. You can see it vibrating up through the concrete and forming a pool on the top. vibration test with Pam. The Pam is harder to see, but still rises and pulls on top just like the others. we will demonstrate the ease of removal of cylinder molds with the different coats of form oil. First up, the cylinder with no form oil applied. Let's see how it performs. Whoa, now that's not a pretty sight. This is what we try to prevent by using form oil. Okay, and now we'll take a look at our cross sections. Now, if we take a look side by side of no oil whatsoever and the nine grams of Pam applied to the cylinder, you can see that surface area of the concrete, how it goes from really smooth to the Pam's just eating away at it. Is nine grams of motor oil applied to the cylinder. As you can see, it's really eating away at the surface area of the concrete. Sample is motor oil mixed in with the concrete. As you can see, there are small lines around the aggregate that the motor oil just uh, stuck itself to the aggregate. The cylinders that were coated in form oil had very typical breaks. However, the ones where form oil was mixed in they exploded. This plot shows compressive strength versus samples with different types and amounts of form oil. As you can see, the ones on the left have very similar performance. These are the ones that just had form oil on the surface. However, when form oil was mixed in, there was a big drop. Those are on the right. When it comes to resistivity, there was no difference.
In conclusion, there was a big difference between the commercial form oils and those that aren't. The commercial form oil didn't eat away at the surface, didn't leave buildup on the surface. It just performed much better. Now, what any form oil that was used on the cylinders made demolding much, much easier. And those that didn't have form oil, about half of them had failures. We didn't see any reduction in performance of the concrete unless heavy amounts of form oil was mixed in. In conclusion, form oil is a good thing. We should be using it. Hey, Concrete Super fans. I hope you enjoyed the video over form oil here in the mix design class of Oklahoma State University. We hope you learned a lot. I don't think I, I was super. Weird, uh, like I couldn't see Lauren's face like starting. Well, as soon as I stop. I know, talking, but you never know, like, because I keep telling. I don't know what you're. Gonna okay. Say. So you're, you're gonna